again. I'm sorry I couldn't take you to Dubai with me, but I only went for 20 hours. I got on a plane eight hours to Dubai from Hong Kong, spent 20 hours in Dubai, got back on a plane, flew back to Hong Kong. So anyway, so thank you for your patience. Let's see uh, if this time it'll play our, our Life is Good song. 4X Today Introduction Life Good. Google hasn't, or uh, YouTube is just not finding it anymore. Or maybe it's Life is Great. All right, just going to play some other video. All right. Uh, don't pay any attention to this. The foreign exchange is. market is where. So anyways, let me uh, try to kill this. Good start to the webinar so far. Uh, let me re let me remind you that trading is risky, not appropriate for everyone. Your past performance, good or bad. Hang on. Good or bad is not necessarily indicative of future results. Please stay small, stay humble, focus on the long term, and never risk money you can afford to lose. You know, th that's actual real advice. I know I've said it every day for 15 years. Can you imagine? <clears throat> but I think it's honestly good advice. I can tell you that no regulatory agency has asked me to tell you to stay small, stay humble, focus on the long term. But it's actually the key to success. Hello. <laughs> My name is Wayne McDonald. I'm the Chief FX Market Strategist for TradersWay.com. Put your diamonds in the sky. Thank you for being a client of Traders Way. We appreciate you. They, uh, the management team of Traders Way, wants you to be a success, and that's why uh, that's why I'm here. They've asked me to to assist. It's plain and simple. It makes good common business sense that you're a client for years and years and years and years for thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of trades. Is it a zeal? Uh, I don't know. You can do whatever you want. This is Hong Kong. What are you talking about, zeal? This is Hong Kong. I can do, I can do whatever the hell I want. Yeah, no, no, don't worry about it. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I've had a long, uh, I've had a long year. So, yeah, don't worry about it. By the way, uh, I'd like to send a shout out uh, to Daniel, who has spent. Uh, four or five days hanging out with me in, in Hong Kong. And uh, Daniel was up uh, in the club level where we've spent most of the <laughs> time. And they're like, where's Mr. Daniel? I'm like, oh, he went back to, to Singapore. <laughs> and they're like, they're shocked. Like, Mao's what? He's not from Hong Kong? No, he's not from Hong Kong. He's from Singapore. They're just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel's here all day, every day. Daniel swam like uh, three kilometers in the swimming pool on the 118th floor, the highest swimming pool in the world. Yeah, not bad for uh, 55, hey, Daniel? So anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, look, um, I want you guys to succeed, and I, I want to find traders that are successful uh, and help. So the first start is to, uh, no, 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 55, Daniel, 55. So the whole organization cares about you guys, just, you know, not even for altruistic reasons, which I think uh, are questionable, but just out of common business sense. If we can keep you alive and trading, and successful and slowly grow your account size and over time your your trade size will grow and all that kind of stuff maybe you'll bring in client money and it's, it's just makes sense so I think you can trust that your success is our success when we have a synergistic relationship this okay all right let's uh, maybe I won't use drawing tool today I don't know this is a really awkward setup 
All right. So where are we at? We met on Friday in the boardroom on the 118th floor. No, sorry, 116th floor. Right, on Friday, and we drew some lines in the sand. And we're watching these lines. The blue area, what we're hoping for, just as a reminder, is that there's nothing technical on this chart to say that these yen pairs are going to stop falling. Nothing technical. Really fundamentally, like when you say fundamentals, and most people mean economic data, right? And uh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, fundamentals, yeah, but none of the economic data says there should be a, a dramatic change in direction. But what I'm talking about is seasonality. Okay? Yeah, Ryan, you would have loved, liked uh, Hong Kong. I think you were born to go to Hong Kong. So anyways, um, so there's nothing on this chart that says it's changing. But this is what analysis is, if you think about it, right? In, in particular, fundamentals and global macroeconomics and all these different things that goes into, uh, I think, uh, a professional trade plan. Because technical analysis is always what has already happened, right? Depending on the time frame and stuff. But you're looking at past performance, right? And then there's the fundamental side, I think, is very interesting. It allows you to create a plan or a strategy, right? Strategic and tactical forex trading. Fundamental analysis helps you create a strategy. It doesn't put you into a trade. It gives you a strategy like, are you a bull or a bear? Well, I can tell you these yen pairs are in a downtrend. It's a bearish trend. Great, fine, wonderful. The strategy here is maybe in the next three weeks. The downtrend in these yen pairs changes direction. I don't know if that's true. You don't know if that's true. The fundamentals are not likely to dramatically change. Macroeconomics is not likely to change. It's not like we're waiting for an IMF report. And the IMF says, hey, everything's changed, right? So what is it then? What could possibly change? Hmm? Exactly. Thank you, Kareem. Big money comes back to the market. So what might have been happening, to make sense of logic and all of this kind of stuff, right? Because we don't want magic, you know. To make sense of the logic is a lot of these moves that may have happened over the last six weeks may have been large institutional investors thinning their portfolios essentially booking some profit so they can go on vacation knowing that they've already cashed out of some positions and not all their positions they got out of some of their positions put the moolah on the table hit their bonus get on the jet plane and and they're boom right they're they're skiing in argentina in july or august wouldn't that be great huh don't you think that'd be great you know when you made it as a currency trader, if you live in North America in July and it's stinking hot and people are like, what did you do for the summer? They're like, oh, well, my family and I jumped in the private jet and flew to Argentina and we've been skiing in August. You're like, oh, <laughs> people are going to say, oh, what do you do again? Oh, I'm a currency trader. I don't work August. I don't work. <laughs> right. So. So anyways, um, so to put it all there, these guys come back, and what are, the, what are they most likely to do if they took profit in the last six weeks? They get back into what worked for them before. Let me ask you, okay? Let's make this a binary fundamental question, okay? Binary, meaning it's a yes or no question. Are the macroeconomics globally... So you can interpret that any way you want. Are they likely to get worse in the next, uh, between now and the end of the year?
So we got four no's, five no's. Okay. I hope you can back that up. If I asked you, like, tomorrow morning, show up in my office and give me, give me the evidence, I hope you could, like, copy and paste something, right? Oh, I went to the IMF. Oh, I went to this central bank website. I went to this other thing, right? But I'm just hoping you could prove it. <laughs> right? It's like, oh, sit down, boy. <laughs> sit down on my couch. Let's talk fundamentals. Oh, well, I was born in Saskatchewan. <laughs> <laughs> My mommy didn't want me to no. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> You're like, no, 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 no. Just the, ma just the macros, man. All right, so if we're thinking about this out loud, there's three potentials here. Things get worse, and people have to cover. Things get better, and people have to get in. Because they're scrambling. And then uh, people do nothing because um, there's nothing to do. And I'm not saying things are going to get worse. I'm not think, I don't think things are going to get dramatically better, but uh, could we at least bet on the trend of slow improvements? Except for, you know, I don't know, Brexit is still a problem. All right, so the British pound's got some downside and stuff, but... Or war, okay, right? Geopolitical risk. Okay, fine. I think all of that's fake, though. Honestly, I think there's a, just a big money machine that just creates fake wars and, and people make a lot of money. I don't know, right? But let's say we don't go to war. Let's say we don't nuke each other. Can we at least make some money? We don't have to fall in love. We can just make some money, right? Right? So that's what I'm getting at strategically here. You need, to, you need to pick a team, up, down, or sideways. Okay? Wag the dog. Yeah, fake news, right? Because what if you were meeting me tomorrow morning? Okay? Right? What if you're meeting me and you're going to convince me to 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 uh, give you some, uh, uh, I should give you some money? Shouldn't you show up and you're like, hey, I have an opinion. What's going on? Right, so I'm ready for it. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, I, I have an opinion. I think the market's going to do something. I mean, that sounds logical. Like you should have an opinion, right? And then you should be able to back that up. Well, what makes you have this opinion? Oh, well, let me. You know, let me tell, count the ways. All right, so here's what it is. If you think things are going to get worse, uh, you, what? Buy some gold, buy some dollars, buy some Swiss franc, buy some yen. Okay? If you think things are going to get better, you probably reverse all of that. Okay? And then there's the outliers. You know, pound has its own problems that are unique to itself, um, unique in its own history. You don't need to be George, George Soros on this. How many people know the George Soros story? Yeah, he made a billion dollars in one day betting against the Bank of England. I think he made two billion the next day, but no, no one ever says that. When I was 19, I served on the board of directors for a nonprofit organization in New York City. I bought a suit at like Sears, my first suit. I bought it at Sears for cars. I went to New York City, went to a board meeting, and George Soros sat on the board. Is that cool? I didn't. I wasn't a currency trader when I was 19. Oh, I should have been, right? So, anyways, uh, you don't you don't have to do any of that. So, what I'd rather you do is analyze the the economics globally. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's cool, Kareem. Um, I'm proud of that little 19-year-old. Right? I could have just been clubbing on ecstasy or something. I gave all that up. I went to board meetings. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so here I am. Now I'm an old man, right? Bitter old man. But um, so I just want you to look at the facts. I want you to, if you, even if you don't know how to interpret the facts, guys, I just want you to fake it. Just try. Get some data from somewhere on these currencies and just ask yourself up, down, or sideways. Okay? That's what it comes from. So, at right now, technically, let's say this Kiwi Yen is down. I wouldn't disagree with you at all. In fact, right now, it's, uh, you know, three-wave correction, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low. Great. I have a strategy, and I am, I am prepared to watch and observe a change in a direction in the next three weeks. I don't know if it's going to happen. I never know. Every year, I don't know. Okay. Last year it happened November. Trump, the Trump bump. Remember how everything went straight up? Remember all that? We're laughing. What a dumb, what a dumb rally that was, right? You remember going over that? Look, everything is up. The world's great. Trump's going to spend a trillion dollars, and he's going to cut all the red tape, and he's going to change Washington, D.C., and then, on the second day, he's going to walk on water. Woo! How dumb was that? This is why you turn your TV off. People believe that nonsense. Can you imagine? That's like drinking the Kool-Aid and they're like, hey, can I have some more Kool-Aid? No, 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 no. Only one cup one cup per person. No, no, I want more Kool-Aid. Give me more Kool-Aid. So, uh, stupid, right? People are stupid. Right? Or like what I like to say, people is stupid. Let me tell you, people is stupid. The world needs you. The world needs you. The world needs a hero. And it might as well be you. You're here. You want to do something. You know you're a currency trader. You want to be in currency trading. But people rely on you. And, and especially filthy, stinking rich people that, are, that need, they need your help. So you should do the world's a service and make rich, keep rich people rich, right? So anyway, so let's get into this. There's nothing here technically. Uh, I think this might go up. Not today, maybe. It looks like it can go down a little bit, but then turn around. But that's the difference between someone who's always tactical. <coughs> U.S. military, um, always tactical, just standing by a Humvee, directing traffic in the middle of a war zone, right? So I want you to have some strategy. Uh, tactically, this nothing here says up. Oh, it'll feel so good if it goes up, though. Right on, Polly. Now, Paul, that feels good, though, right? You got your stop jammed? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, good. So, here's the thing, Paul. Pretend it doesn't exist. You either make nothing, or you get out maybe November, maybe December, right? And try again. Grab another one. Now we're talking about building portfolios. This might be too advanced for a lot of people, but I want you to understand that maybe this year, maybe next year, um, I'll help you go from good to great, but you got to get good on your own, okay? I told a billionaire yesterday that he can make 200% a year on interest payments, just collecting interest. What do you think his eyes do? <laughs> and I said, you know what the funny thing is? That's just the icing. I don't even like icing. 
I like cake. Right? Number one ingredient, pips. Oh, by the way, Daniel and I uh, in Uber drove past the school just n near the hotel here in Kaloo, and it's called Pips. <laughs> I'm like, it's a school Pips. I gotta go get like the the I gotta get the golf shirt, you know the right. No joke, the school of Pips. It's like an uh, like a a private uh, I don't know preschool or something. Pips standing for, I don't know, you know, pip squeaks or something. I don't know. But the, there's a real school. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There you go. You guys want to do some technicals now? I'm sorry to go, go through the speech, but I'm telling you, this is an exciting time of the year. This is like, it is the third week of August, isn't it? I mean, this is it. Oh, my God. So here we go. Four hour chart. What does the 55 tell you? Expect a double bottom. Not that it's going to. Expect a double bottom. And I don't think we were there on Friday, right? Friday morning, New York. I think we were still. Oh my God! This stupid laptop. Hang on. Crazy laptop. Oh no! You guys are going again. Where'd you go? All right. It didn't exist on Friday. We talked about this breaching the 21, going to the 55, and if it did, to look for a double bottom Monday or Tuesday. Will anybody concur? Yeah. From the boardroom. From the boardroom. Right? Living large. 116th floor. Right? That's killer. I mean, now you're a high roller. Think of it. People, you can tell your buddies. So how's it, how's this forex trading going? Oh well, I went to a board meeting, 116th floor over Hong Kong. And we discussed uh, we discussed some things. Yeah, big strategy meeting, right? But that's how I want you to think of our time together. These are strategy meetings. I'm not telling you what to do. But if we worked at a hedge fund, wouldn't it be great to have a have a board meeting? Let's do some strategy meetings. What's coming up? What do you got on your plate? How's it going? How are the fundamentals? How are the technicals? When are you, when are you taking some profit? When are you cutting a loss? Tell me. Right? So anyways, we thought, hey, everything says down. It'll go up and then down. But if it does this, maybe it'll be a double bottom. If it's a double bottom, maybe it's the reversal. It's just happening on the third week of August which we talked about in December and January and February and March and April and May and June and July as well, right? So it's cool. This may not work. So don't like bet the farm here. Does anything say up on this? No. But it's cool to talk about it happening in March or February, isn't it? To talk that, oh, well, you might see things like a double bottom in the yen pairs in the third week of August. Right? Happy Valentine's Day, third week of August, look for a reversal. So, I'm going to look for a reversal. If I was just short term, I'd probably be selling this. Maybe... Should I guess? Uh, Midway, New York. How about what? Oh, what time in the New York session should you expect a reversal? Does anyone remember? Marina says she would remember this. Ten thirty-four. Ten thirty. Oh, Shug and Jimbo. Right. 
Thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate that. Damn, Marina. <laughs> Come on, Marina. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, and, and Peter, I would have taught you that seven or eight years ago. Okay, here we go. Who wants to go for the bonus? The super bonus points. If there's no news, no, if there is news at 10 a.m. New York time, oh my God, I can't even get the question up. What is the reversal time? Yeah. Make me so proud. I'm for Clem. So good. Good for you guys. So I don't know. So if you really had to throw a Hail Mary, that would be it. No, never 5 to 11, Zeal. Never 5 to 11. 10.55. Do you know the difference? Who can take it one step further? Super, super, super extra bonus points. Why 10.34? Peter's got it. Fib numbers. 34 and 55 are Fibonacci numbers in the sequence. The golden ratio. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad for a supermodel, Peter. You're really coming along. All right. So anyways, that sets the stage. We don't have to go through long speeches now. It sets the stage. Right? See, Peter, dancers can be traders, too. So um, so let, now, we, now we got our head screwed on. Uh, cool. Right? So now we got our head screwed on. Let's uh, let's just go techie here. Let's go technical. Can you guys see this? Let me drag this over and see what you can see. You see, okay, uh, much, not all, much. And if I can just. Hang on, I can't see you. I think you could probably see most of that. Let me try to get you back now. I really need a mouse on this thing. Let me see what you can see in a minute. Adjust. Oh, I mean, let me see. Does anyone have a wireless mouse that they can loan me for the day? Where does it go? Oh. Now I can't move the stupid. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's almost perfect. All right, this. Okay, we're golden. So I guess the resolution is still so high on this tiny little laptop that you see one quarter of my screen. All right, cool. So we back. Okay, we back. We good. So you see, please confirm, do you see two blue boxes on the bottom left? By the way, again, I want to I want to thank you for being patient with me while I've been traveling the world. Um, you're important to me, and I know these webinars are not perfect. Um, I hope I hope you appreciate the effort. That's all. You cut me some slack. I'm here. I'm trying. It sucks. I get it. Um, but I, I do. I, I care about you guys. And this is good for me as well. This is therapy. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to myself. And uh, it's good for uh, both of us. All right. So Kitty Cad. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm, what maybe it also says, Peter, is it like when I'm at home, I have 18 screens. I'm at home all the time, day and night. I never leave the house. And I'm always like watching the market, right? So how does how does one behave when they travel with their wife and kids or they're on business trips? 
how, do, how does one handle being a currency trader? And this is kind of it. Like, I'm, I'm always here. Okay? And maybe it's just uh, even just the, the vibe of it, I guess. Um, one message I've told you guys forever is that you should just fall in love. Like, uh, oh, this, all right, this billionaire. He, he's telling me that um, um, there's a, a computer program that could do the trading and stuff. Right? So, something he's been pitched. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you buy this computer program and start it. It, it does everything. And I leaned forward and I said, well, why would you not want to do the work? What's wrong with the work? If you're a currency trader, why would you want to give up the work? Why would you want to find a shortcut? I said, well, what if I lost 300 million of your money? And I said, well, I'm sorry, the computer program was crap. Something weird happened. It's not my fault. The, the computer program failed. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Yeah, why don't you just smash my laptop? <laughs> so I'm like, look, I love it. I want to do it. This is what I do. It's who I am. It's like, I'm not looking for shortcuts. I'm looking for mud. Right? I, I want to get dirty. I don't want to... I don't want you to give me a, a, a billion dollars and I go golfing every day and have some computer program trade your money, right? Like, no, 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 you should, you should not like that, right? So here I am, I'm long this sucker, making money, uh, and I'm hoping I don't get knocked out, and that's all there is to it. Okay, and what my next part, so you can see, I didn't quite pick the bottom on this. Oh, stupid. Oh, my God. Whatever Microsoft has done, the, the screen keeps going away. Um, all right, so you can see I'm trying to tiptoe into it, right? I was a little conservative on the entry. It's not the world's greatest entry. Um, but it did reverse, which was the plan. I knew it was vulnerable. So I managed the risk, um, and a little bit of hope, a little bit of praying, and it's still open. Collecting interest, it's not a lot, it's nothing. I, I got a what? This is even a tiny entry. So, like, there's nothing to it. But what if it reverses again? I think we could at least hope for a range from here, right? That we get back down into these blue areas, right, in here. And they hold. That's all I'm hoping for right now. And if I'm wrong, I, uh, I lose nothing. Collected interest along the way. And I'll try again. And I'm emotionally prepared for it to happen. Because that was my plan. I, I wasn't in this trade for 50 pips or 100 pips. Okay? Because if you want to make big money, you got to know when, like, you know, as you guys know, when to hunt for rabbits, because that's, you got to eat. And then other times when you got to hunt big game. Do you know why? You can't get through the winter without big game. You need some moose. You need some caribou, right? You're a wolf. You're a killer. You can't live on rabbit carcasses all winter, right? So this is it. I'm going for a moose here. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan's a killer. He tells you he's a vegetarian. Don't believe it. Yeah. Ryan and I were at a bar in, uh, in uh, Johannesburg, and I order a Manhattan, and they bring me some, like, uh, fish tank water. And they're like, oh, Manhattan? <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is this? And Ryan just stands up, and he just walks right to the bar, throws it down. <laughs> he, he took care of things. He's a killer vegetarian, a tree hugger, maybe. <laughs> maybe. He's a killer. So anyways, yeah. He's a 
vegetarian tree hugging killer. Right. So, anyways, um, so that's all. I'm emotionally prepared. Uh, I'm thinking what I would like is just it comes into this area and bounces back up. You can see this is um, wanting to fall, but what is what does the top tell you? It's seven to eight six. I would even say that that was a hundred percent retracement, which tells me it shouldn't fall further than this area. Now, what it might end up doing is falling all the way down to here, and I got a reload. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I had the opportunity, and I had no risk. What if you guys had 100 opportunities, and each one of them you removed the risk? I bet you anything, some of those are going to hit. So sometimes you have to say, you know what, this trade is not 25 pips, this trade is not 50 pips, this trade is 300 pips. Yes, right, Chuck? But, you know, Chuck, when you add seasonality to that and you know when to take these shots, when you know to have that strategy, five or six hit. And you're like, this is ten times better than a typical month. I wouldn't do it in other times of the year. This this time of the year, I'm looking for it. I don't know if I'm going to make money. This year might be better, uh, different than the last, than the last, and the last, and the last, and the last. I've already challenged you to go go through your charts, look at the last seven or eight years of trading history, and then decide for yourself: is this the type of thing that you should be doing? But isn't that alpha? Isn't that like why people come to you? You have answers because you're like. We studied it. I was talking to a professional oil trader. Uh, I can't remember. I guess it was today. Today? It seems like a year ago. Uh, today uh, in Dubai. Like, so, you know, what do you trade? WTI and CL. Sweet. Let's talk, bro. And he's like, yeah, I lost a ton of money on the, <laughs> on the French election. <laughs> you what? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Markets rallied. I just shorted the hell out of it. It went one extra pivot point, and I just like blew up the account. Uh huh. Okay, not good. Never put yourself in a situation like that. Okay. I want you to be wise. I want you to say, so I told him, I'm like, oh, well, I did 50 years worth of fundamental analysis, went through the data. And I can tell you within three weeks accuracy, the, the peak and the valley to the oil market. And his eyes is lit up. I'm like, yeah, well, it's just the average over 50 years. I mean, you should know that. Uh oh, and the uh, the computer system that you bought on eBay, the the EA you bought on eBay for four dollars may not know this information. Why? They, it it doesn't incorporate fifty years where the governmental data. Yeah, cream, right? <laughs> yeah, it's true, right, right. So, anyways, um, fall in love with what you do. That didn't work out. Fall in love, well, love with what you do. You'll get really, really good for intelligent reasons, not for luck and and born, being born to trade and all that nonsense. And people will come to you for answers. Do you know what, what uh, answers are worth? Money.
So how do you make a lot of money in Forex, guys? If an EA won't do it, how do you make a lot of money? Stay small, stay humble, focus on the long term. Fall in love with what you do. Do the research, get the answers, and people with money will pay you. Because the secret to success in Forex is not just getting things right, but keeping the, the risk, meaning lot size relative to your account size, low. So if your, account si if your lot size is low relative to your account size, how do you make a lot of money? Your account size should be huge. What if you made 1% a month with a billion dollars in your account? So why don't you have answers so that people with money can get involved with your you know, they need you. Yeah, Chuck's Timma. Yeah, but be worth it. That's, a, I want you to have that mentality, like, that you're worth that. You're not an amateur. You're not going to try to get rich quick. You're not going to take big bets. Oh, well, I got, my account blew up at the bank. Uh, I, I got it all wrong on the French election. <laughs> what? Oil market rallied. He sold into the rally in market. I'm like, oh, yeah. That sucks, bro. All right, so Ozzy. Let's change the time frame. So I'm still alive on this one. It doesn't look good. I'm, a, I'm alive. We're blood, above the blue line, which I think I drew on Friday. And uh, I need this to go up. If it falls, how much money have I lost? I have $100,000 on this. Cool, but I have the opportunity to win. I'm collecting some interest. Right? What? How does a professional investor, not a trader, an investor, someone that gives you money, they're professional so they know what they're doing. They look at your July and August performance and you have tons of break-even trades, lots of little rabbits, and you made basically nothing. You made a half a percent profit. Uh, Hedera, I'm on my little temporary mini laptop. Uh, it's really a tablet running Windows and Android. It's tiny. Um, I have my big laptop. I didn't want to drag an eight-pound laptop to to, uh, to Asia and to the Middle East. So I just don't have pivots on this one, that's all. And then, of course, my rig is at home. Okay. So anyways, uh, oh yeah, so a, pro a professional investor looks at risk-adjusted performance. And one of the, thing, one of the things in measuring risk-adjusted performance is beta. Beta is a measure of volatility in the market. Volatility, there's different versions of volatility. Let's just say volume. Volume in, in the last eight weeks have been low, which is historically normal. So if they see July and August, you took lots of opportunities, managed the risk, you eked out uh, something, but you never put the money at risk. What do you think they, they feel? Maybe it's a trust that wants to put money into your firm. Maybe it's a fund of funds, and they're measuring all kinds of um, managers, like yourself. 
some guy, some managers are cowboys, and they're always taking big risks. What do you think people actually want? Cowboys? Right? Or do they want steady? So they know, they already know you're not going to do well in July and August. So get yourself into good opportunities to do well. But in the in the realm of beta. So if I make no money here, it doesn't kill me. But what if this turns north and I make a lot of money? Well, I won't make money this month on it, right? But I am getting paid mark to market, which means in real time I'm collecting that those pips, and it goes up, and I stay in this for the next three months. Now, how does this affect me in November? Or let's say I cash out January, and this is an 800 pip trade. Now, do you think the clients care? So, if you do it right, they don't care that you didn't do so well because they understand what you did, and they're like, you did a good job. You did a good job, Wayne. I know you didn't make a lot of money in July and August. I see you had opportunities. I see you managed the risk, uh, low returns in a low beta market. You're a solid trader. And then if you're lucky, some of these stay open and you hit it when the, vol when the volume and volatility is high. And they're like, damn, look, you, you crushed it. I'm like, no, the market gave. And I took advantage of the giving, right? Hey, when the fruit's ripe, you, you pick. Just helps if you uh, planted the seeds, huh? You had a long-term game. All right, so anyways, um, we left it here last week. We're here now. Everything's fine. Nothing's falling apart. Uh, back, uh, I have to remember because this was a few weeks ago now, Brandon. I think last month it was a monthly pivot. I, it was like monthly S2 or something. Then it bounced and I grabbed a pullback in here. So I was expecting a reversal, got a bullish engulfing candle, and then I set up a 1, 2, 3, which means I need a, a significant retracement like this 50% retracement of a bullish engulfing candle bouncing off support, which I predicted in the future. So I took a shot, and then I jammed the stop, took a walk across the entire planet. Okay? So I'm not saying it's the world's greatest trade, but it was something I said I would do six months ago. And guess what? I did it. Gee whiz. Nobody leaves me alone. Oh, it's 8.30 at night. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't remember this trade, guys. Someone, someone must have asked me to review it. This tells me either the pound is weak or the Aussie is strong. And that's continued. Okay. If you've taken any of the uh, training courses at Epix Boot Camp, you can see these moving averages are working beautifully if that's how you trade. Um, if you just use price action. You can see the price action here, can't you? Okay. Right? When this breached low, your plan was to sell off the roll reversal. When this breached low, this bearish engulfing breakout, first of all, you, you were here, right? 
But then on this candle, and we're talking days after this day, you knew in the future that you'll probably have an opportunity to sell that. And now we're, we seem to be breaching this. Guess what? I might, I might be selling two weeks from now. Has anyone not taken the price action course? It's a shame if you didn't. You had all summer to sharpen your saw. All right, so let's change this one then. What do you want to give me a currency pair? Only got 10 minutes left. Yeah, that's a good pair. All right, we got two Z's on the USD yet. Uh, I got to expand this. All right, I, 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 okay. Still the wrong one. Oh, I need a mouse, bro. So that shifted on me. Where did the SDN go? Oh, I see that it scrolled on me. All right, good, good, good. Ish good, ya? Yeah? Oh, I know. I need to do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's like uh, some German uh, uh, TV producers in, in the uh, club lounge. I'm just going to loop it on them. All right. Ooh. Oh, stiff, man. Spent uh, 10 hours flying today, plus the airport time and all that crap. went out again. All right, so what do you stink? Like to uh, see it stabilized, don't you stink? Weekly M3, huh? That's important, isn't it, Chuck? Could go up, maybe, right? So, would you want to sell here? If you sold, you might get one more day. Uh, MRC, that's too far out for me because that doesn't reflect fundamentals. I'm not a pure technician. Okay. I combine uh, uh, macroeconomic data, which is sort of now-ish because I'm using that to try to predict the future. And doing weekly and monthlies is too past performance. It's too technical for me. Okay. So, yeah, so I would say, no, well, is it too late? It's not too late. 
But like if you were trading south here, I just wouldn't expect much more than maybe one or two more shots to the down. And then I need to start looking the other way. Okay? But even this 15-minute chart kind of says up at 109, doesn't it? Not quite, but you could you could set this up as a double bottom. And of course, if you got a one, two, three on a 15, you might want to take it around to the upside on the longer time frame, right? So remember, so in that case, you start a long time, incorporate seasonality, drop to a small time frame, look for the pattern there, and then front run the longer position. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to have to light this again. I think the air conditioning in here is too strong. In fact, I'm freezing, but I only got a couple more minutes, right? All right, one more. Do you mind if I light up again? I mean, it got really cold here all of a sudden. What did they do? Hang on. Oh. Dude, I kid you not, the AC dropped to 16 Celsius. 16! Holy, I am freezing all of a sudden, just like that, snap. I mean, it's cold enough, I think it's putting out my cigar. Okay. Oh, man, I wish you guys could see this view. I think we should do like a Forex conference here in Hong Kong. What do you think? Would you guys join me if I came out again? I could do the meeting here. You get to see the view. 116th floor is the, the conference room. 116. We can have our meeting, do a few hours, found, right? Then we can go go into town and paint the town red, but I don't know if they like communist red. Yeah. Okay, one more currency, and let's call it a... It's so... <laughs> the air conditioning is so strong it blew my match out. Yeah, no, Jake. It's funny. All right. Let's try one more. Come on, give me another currency pair. Oil, yeah, let's do some oil. Okay, does that look good, guys? Can you see all of that? Nice, huh? Need more copy. So, what do we do here? We're in a cell zone. Or as they say in Italy, a cell zone. So where should the buy zone be?
So let's uh, let's pay attention around what forty seven fifty. So it drops a dollar and goes up two. Ryan says forty eight, which is perfect, except I think it's too obvious. So let's say they drop it fifty cents and then flip it. But 48, 47, 50, it's just those are zones to start paying attention, right? So I don't care if it's 48. I don't care if it's 47, 50. I, I, I don't prefer drops to 47. That's a little too much. All right. Now, you guys got the pivots. I don't have the pivots. So you got to incorporate the pivots as well as the sykes. I am the boss, Brandon. <laughs> yeah. You know what my friends called me in college? Sir. <laughs> so, yeah. Sir, yes, sir. Yeah. And good friends too. I love I love my friends. I haven't talked to them in 20 years. I love them. All right, so that's kind of what I see here. Uh, it's not up. It's more sideways than up. Um, but let's just say I'm right on the ends. Let's say I'm that lucky. Does that mean global macroeconomics good or global macroeconomics bad? Okay, well, so if global macroeconomics good, would you say oil up or oil down? Strategy, right? And if I'm wrong, this drops and I don't participate. Okay? Awesome. So, uh, peace on earth. May the pips be with you. May your profits be above average. Uh, thank you for being on my team. I hope you know you're important to me. Okay? I really do. I, I hope you believe it. Uh, I have trouble downloading and uploading. Okay. Did you pee? You sent me a cigar thing? No way. I, I didn't even see it. I Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm low back home, so that's the timing is perfect. I haven't checked my uh, personal email in so long. Don't let me forget. Can you remind me? Uh, I'll be back in country uh, Friday. So the plan is I'll be here tomorrow. I'll be here Wednesday. Thursday, I probably won't make it. Uh, Friday, I will. Okay? Stupid, you know, flying and stuff. So I only have 23 more hours to go on an airplane. It's a total of 60 hours flying. And you know 60 hours of flying means 80 hours of, like, getting to the airport, checking in at the airport, standing at the, you know, I mean, it's a lot, right? But Ryan could do it in a day, I'm sure. Oh, you know, well, I got a story, but I can't. I'm not going to tell it today. So anyways, uh, peace on earth. May the pips be with you. May your profits be above average. Thank you for being a client to Trader's Way. And uh, if you're new, go to Trader's Way. Contact support. Tell them Wayne sent you. Okay?
Okay? Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.